hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be creating this look for you guys i'm going to be showing you how the steps and the product that i use to achieve this makeup look okay if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to support me if you're new here hello my name is glory and if you're someone that always come to watch my videos and still have not subscribed or you just you know stumble up on my channel on my video for the very first time and you have not subscribed please make sure to subscribe on this channel i do on this channel i do fashion beauty and lifestyle content please be sure to subscribe hit the like button of this, of this video if you like you know makeup videos like this and uh, yeah let's dive into this video so starting off i will be prepping my face i've already done my skincare i've applied my hydrating serum which is my hyalur hyaluronic 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 i can't say it but i have hydrated my skin i've prepped it so now i'm going to finish up by prepping it properly for this makeup with my good molecule silicone free priming moisturizer i'm sure by now if you're watching me Especially during this summer time, you're watching my makeup video, you know by now that <laughs> this is the um, primary moisturizer that I used. It's good molecule, by good molecule, very affordable and very good as well for the skin. So that's what I'm going to be using to prep my skin to die. And to highlight underneath my foundation, I'll be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury all wiped off Hollywood flawless filter yeah flawless filter Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury this is in shade 7 dark so I'll be using it to highlight from here 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 For foundation, I'll be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Shell Long Wear Makeup. Very lightweight foundation. I, I always keep saying, I don't know why Estee Lauder didn't call this skin, skin tint because it's so light. Pack it here. I always put a lot around my mouth because I need um, more coverage there due to my discoloration. So I tend to pack a lot around here and just, you know. Blend it out. In case I'm looking down here, I've got mirror, so that's why. And for concealers, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Bond this way. I'm also use Cotton Concealer in the shade Maple to conceal under my eyes, and I'll be going. Uh, in as well with my Lancome Tint I Dog Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in shade 051 to highlight. Technique Deluxe, Del Deluxe brush to blend the inner corner of the con my inner corner because I've got concealer there so the sponge is not getting there properly so I'm going to use this brush to blend it out yeah and just use the same sponge that I used to blend the foundation just blend all the edges As to set, I'll be using my Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder in shade Blondie Powder. Just the excess on my um, setting. I'm not going back in the back into the powder. I'm just using what I have got on my hand. Set. Bring it down to my smile line. 
do is I'll go in with another loose setting powder. This is a different shade by Demo. Demo Blend is in this shade One Saffron. So I'm going to be using this to press into my smile line because I get smile line. But with this, it's the same shade as my skin tone. It helps to set around my smile line properly for me. Just going to push it in. I like to do this I like to do this expression get all the crease out and just press Bit more Bit more kind of my nose and I'm going to go back in the Huda Beauty um, loose setting powder and shade Blondie. I'm going to go back in and just pick up a little bit due to the lines I have under my eyes to set it properly. I'm just going to up, take a mirror here so I can see what I'm doing properly and set. Going to use what's left and just set on top of my nose. Leaving the powder under my eyes helps with the crease because I have lines. So if you're someone that have lines under your eyes, it's not a bad thing, but just to help the concealer that was applied there to last longer and not to crease into the lines, I just tend to put a little bit of the highlight loose setting powder, leave it a few seconds, then I'll dust it off. And to contour my cheekbone, I'll be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 4 Deep. So this is it. This is the one I was using as a mirror. And yeah, it's shade 4 to contour slightly. That's what it looks like. You can see it. I have a review of this bronzer here on my channel. And to bronze, I'll be using my Morphe Bronze Show in shade Mocha Moments. I also have a review of this bronzer here on my channel. This is how the contour and bronzer is looking on my cheeks. And just slightly bronze the bridge of my nose. So I'll be picking up the bronzer on the brush that I used to bronze. And just picking up the oil what's here on this brush to bronze the side of my nose. If you don't want to go in with a brush like this to bronze the side of the nose, you can just go in with what you have on the brush that I used to bronze the cheek and just, you know, brush it like so. So this is how everything is looking so far. I'm still going to go in with the blush, but... So if I'm just looking to see if there's anything else, if there is some anything or anywhere I need to blend more and looking all good so far. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Comment below. But so far, so good. For blush, I'll be using my Bare Minerals Blonzer in shade Kiss of Rose. Looks 
Iconic. I also have a review of this. Uh, Bare Minerals Blonzer. Here on my channel, I did the video. I, I, had, I did the review of this Blonzer. Bare Minerals Blonzer with the Morphe Bronzer as well. So I'll link it below if you want to watch it. You can check it out to know my full thoughts on this Blonzer. But yeah, I'll be using it as a blush to dye. gonna go in with this eco tools powder brush there is no powder on this but i just like to use it to blend everything in i am going to quickly set using my airbrush again charlotte silver airbrush flawless setting spray to set the face going to tidy my brows with the benefit 24 hour brow setter in shade clear to tidy the brows i do not feel out feeling my brows i mean i've got brow hair so <laughs> i don't feel in with any pencil or powder i just use this brow gel by benefit and just set it set them down and i'm good to go So far, this is how the face is looking. Looking looking good, looking bronzed up, looking fresh, looking glowy. Not too much glow, but nice glow coming from underneath with the highlight, you know, Charlotte Tilbury flawless, Hollywood flawless filter we use before applying the foundation. Then the blush, the blush got hint, you know, hint of highlight as well to it. So you can see that popping through, which is beautiful. So, yeah. Next is the lips. Okay. I'm feeling vibrant color because it's summer. So I'm going to do something vibrant, beautiful, colorful. <laughs> so for lips, I'll be OV. Obviously, I'm going to be lining my lips with my Brown Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics in shade Chestnut and for lips, like I said, I want for lips, I want something bold, vibrant, colourful because it's summer, why not? So I'll be going in with this Maybelline lipstick, it's a matte lipstick in number 882, is it Fiery Fuchsia? I will leave the list of every product I use down below in the description box so you can check them out. But yeah, um, this is what I'm going to be using for my why am I holding it like this? This is what this is what I'm going to be using for my lips, okay? get out of here get out of here get oh my gosh like i can't even recognize myself like who is this who is this chick right here can you tell me who this chick is because she looks beautiful she looks stunning she looks fly she looks <sighs> she's taking my breath away damn girl looks stunning oh my gosh come on i'm surprised with this look so beautiful like this lips jeez with this lip color you cannot tell me anything like so gorgeous hi mm, nice to meet you <laughs> 
god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. God forgive me. I'm just calling your name on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. I can't believe I get this look. Like, look at this, guys. Look at the beautiful, fresh, flawless. Same time, not loud. But you've got that bronziness going on. You've got that glowiness going on. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Affordable Maybelline. Honestly, don't sleep on drugstore lipsticks. They're so beautiful. Revlon, Maybelline. Honestly, just try drugstore lipstick because they're so affordable and beautiful. So yeah, this is it for this makeup look, guys. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure to do follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And until next time, guys, take care.